How cool is this? Corey gets to go out and he's winning again because he's making jewelry with Brenda Warner. Hey, there's some real talent there, Corey. I'm digging that. Actually, you're rocking that necklace yeah. too, it by the way. It looks so good on you. How yeah. About that? Yeah, thank you. You don't want to swim with this. <laughs> it's a little heavy. <laughs> that, that's for sure. This will take you right to the bottom. Really impressive. And you're right, Brenda Warner's out. She's hard at work over here. Metal art by B. Look at her go. Now, this is a journey that she embarked upon not very long ago. Brenda, welding is noisy, but it's fun, obviously. Uh, it's dirty. Uh, what inspired you to, and we're looking at a lot of your art here, you could be doing anything right now. What is it about this that really excites you? The fact that you can take something that somebody's thrown away, it's rusted, it's discarded, and you can make it into something new and somebody appreciates it. I love that whole transformation. Yeah. I really well, do. Go ahead and make some sparks fly. I always love that part. We'll get your uh, glasses on there. Um, don't look. Now, I can't look at it. You can look at what's happening at home. But, uh, of course, you don't want to ever look at welding if you're um, in its presence. But, oh, yeah. Now, I grew up around welding a bit as a kid. There's a guy back uh, behind our house that was always working on his car, and he was quite accomplished. It's such a cool, it's a cool art. It's not just some industrial uh, activity. People really can build some beautiful things with it. Brenda, I could watch the sparks fly all day long. Now, give me an idea. Let me turn this around so people can see the, the end results of your work. What, what, what inspires the designs? I, I can understand why you want to get into it in the first place, but what, what are we looking at here? I just it like, looks very medieval. It, it kind of scary, isn't mm -hmm. it? They look like weapons. Some of them look like weapons, but I just like the shape that it that um, you can pull out color from metal as long as you heat oh, yeah. it. It'll look different. Every single piece is different. Nothing can ever be just redone. And I like that because we're all so different and we all can look good. We can all look good to somebody, but every piece is, is its own thing. Yeah. Everything looks different. Boy, I love that, that uh, yeah, jagged cut through mess. there. Next time we get together, let's, uh, we'll talk about where the proceeds from your efforts go okay. and uh, treasure house. Uh, don't forget that phrase. It really means a lot to uh, lots of folks here in the Valley. Brenda, thanks for sharing all your talents with us. So more coming your way from the home of Metal Art by B in just a couple of minutes. I like that. Well, Corey is uh, off the Honeycrisp talk, and he's yes. on the jewelry parade here at uh, with Brenda Warner. Hey, Corey. I really like this stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. really nice. I know. Isn't it fun? It's yeah. it's heavy. It's uh, gritty and. It's not, no two pieces are the same. We're seeing a big collection of them uh, here. And boy, Brenda, you've really built up your inventory. Looks like you've been busy. I am busy. If I didn't have to raise children, I'd be busier. But that'll <laughs> well, we'll get them all out of the yeah, house. Yeah, someday. <laughs> someday. So tell, tell, tell me, um, the, a lot of them seem to be necklaces. Are, are they all to be worn around the neck? What other pieces are you making? Um, I love to make earrings and mm. necklaces, and I usually wear them um, everywhere I go. But I also make sculptures. I just um, can't lift them once I make them because oh. they're so big. So that's when Kurt comes in handy. He, yeah. He's my muscle. Um, but I love to just come out here and move things around and, and something comes to me. Wow. So I love that. The inspiration is, it's obvious. Now, uh, we've laid out a few of your pieces here right on one of your signs, which says Treasure House. And for those who don't know, if, folks who are new to the Valley, uh, tell me about Treasure House and what, what its mission is and, and its inspiration as well. Well, we have a 30-year-old son that has traumatic brain injury and he's blind. And when you get to um, after high school, there's not a lot of options for you. So we built a residential um, facility for young adults with intellectual disability that's open in um, Glendale. And we're so proud of it. It opened in August and we already have about 10 residents there. We can hold about 30 and looking to build them all over the country because mm. the need is so great. Um, you know, we didn't have options back in my generation for young adults with intellectual disability. You went to an institution or you stayed with your parents, and now there's so many options, and mm -hmm. we want to make it even better and bigger and take it everywhere. Well, for parents who are out there and are thinking, wow, you know, my daughter or my son sounds like he or she might fit uh, that sort of a, a home, mm -hmm. how, how does it work? How, how do they get in touch with the organization? 
Treasurehouse.org has all the information for admission. Um, you know, you fill out all the paperwork, all the referrals, you get all that stuff in order, and then there's a process you go through. Um, but we hope that it'll be all that we want it to be in the sense of they have a full life. I have seven kids, six of them, you know, have every opportunity. So we want to give these young adults full lives, and it's a beautiful place. So just go to treasurehouse.org. You are just a doll. Thanks so much for all of your hard work and your passion as well. Oh, yeah. I love this. I, I would like to be presented with it in a, in a very formal way, if that's possible. If you have any fancy words to say, that oh, would like be a great. Knighting. This is wow. Game of Thrones inspired. Mm -hmm. So because you are now being knighted, um, you are a beautiful king in my life right Aww. now. Wow. Take that, Troy. Right. You should hear Troy back there. I can hear the tears falling. So yeah, good. I'm very, <laughs> very good. Hey, Court, Celeste, quickly, before you, you leave, is there a place we can buy this stuff? Yeah. Where, how, do we, how do we get a hold of this stuff? Yeah, how do we find your, your uh, pieces? Where, where do we get them? Metalartbyb.com. M-E-T-A-L-A-R-T by letter B, right? Yes. By B.com. Oh, my gosh, there's so many options, and boy... The uh, the Game of Thrones world is uh, yeah. well. It's ta they're taking over the world, and all of these pieces look like they could have been worn by any cast member. They're it's just very so fun. Cool. Uh, anyway, thanks again, Brenda, so much for sharing your morning with us. And uh, I don't know. I'm heading out into the desert next time we get together. So we'll see you in about an hour. All right. Okay. You gonna wear that necklace? Yeah. You, you need look, to. He, he looks uh, like he could. Safety first, Troy. <laughs> I may have to throw it over my back. Good stuff. Thank yeah, you, Corey.